What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a ranked Entei team for Regulation F. Now Entei just released into this game from the Indigo Disc DLC is going to be a huge problem on the rank ladder. It has stability in our focus and it learns to move E speed. So pairing that up with Chen Pao, like we've seen in the past with Dragonite, is a crazy strong combo for ranked. Entei also has access to other great moves such as Sacred Fire and Stomp and Catch Him, and then we gave it the Life Orb as its item. So this thing is going to be a problem. I've been saying it for weeks now. This thing pairing up with Chen Pao is a problem, and now the time is here, I'm ready to show you guys how strong this Pokemon actually is. Like I already mentioned, Shen Pao is also on this team, and everything is pretty standard and pretty normal with this Shen Pao, besides its terror type. It's got the Stellar Terror type, which is the brand new terror type, going to shake up the meta a little bit, so super excited for that. This team also features one more Regulation F Pokemon, and that is going to be Raging Bull. We showcased this Pokemon in my first ranked video for Regulation F, and this Pokemon did not disappoint, so happy to have it back here on the team. Final three Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane, Ogre Punt, and Landers. Just great strong meta Pokemon to help us grab some wins and cover the weaknesses that the other three Pokemon have. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Entei on the ranked ladder. So if you guys watched my last video, we went 3-0 and grabbed ourselves a perfect record to start the new season off. We're 3-0, we are in Ultra Ball tier, and if we win our first match, we will get into Master Ball tier. So, job's not finished yet, we gotta keep going here and grab ourselves a win to push Master Ball tier. But we're loading into our first match, and again, I would just love to lead Shen Pao and Entei. And just get ripping here in match number one and just take a victory. Put us right in the match here to get this video started. That would be amazing. But the first match we're going up against is a triple genie team. They got Thunderous, they got Landorus, they also have Tornado. So triple genie alongside with Incineroar and Raging Bull and Ogre Pond. Did not or did not mention Ogre Pond. But uh yeah, I could maybe just lead Entei and Shen Pao here. Could be pretty good. We have inner focus on the Entei that could work. Greatly, right? We could. We could. I'm thinking about it. We could lead that. And I think I am going to lead that. Inner Focus can stop Fake Out. We won't be affected by Intimidate. But if they do lead an Intimidate user like their Incineroar, we might just have to hard swap Shen Pao. And in that case, we could potentially just swap it into like Fluttermane. With the Choice Specs. Choice Specs Fluttermane is not bad at all. It is definitely not bad. Or I can lead like a different lead. And maybe just go choice scarf. I kind of want to bring this in the back end. So yeah, I'm going to bring you in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Raging Bolt or do we go Flutter Me? I think we just go Flutter Me. Or not Flutter Me, Raging Bolt. The reason being, they have a flying type Pokemon and they have a water type Pokemon. So Raging Bolt with the best. Not bad. I like its typing. I definitely like its typing. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're going to lead. If they don't lead Incineroar, I'm going to be happy. But if they do, I might just counter Intimidate with our Landorus. Or maybe just protect that turn and leave Shen Pao in the field. Just so my Entei could just freely get that uh, ability boost from Shen Pao. But yeah, I've been mentioning that ranked battles are a different monster than casual. And they definitely are. These battles have been so good, so close. Hopefully we can just get things started here with a win. But the Antimico and Thunderous and Incineroar do come out here. Okay, that's not too bad. I have Inner Focus, so you can't really drop my stats. Um, we're going to drop Defense here, and I think from here we might just go into like a Secret Fire. I could go into Stop and Catch him instead. What is Lando really going to do? That's a real question. What is Lando really going to do? So I'm just going to protect you here, and I think we just pop a Stop and Catch him. Just look to do some big time damage on the Incineroar, right? I like it. I don't think Incineroar terrestrializes. I think it kind of just stays on the field, hangs out for a little bit, tries to get his fake out off and all that. So we're gonna throw up a protector. Fingers crossed that the fake out goes into that slot, right? Waste turn there. And you don't. You read the protect. So that's a big time call, but stop and catch from getting off some big time damage. We love it. That's some big time damage. The damage comes out here. He is going to hit the citrus berry, get some HP back, and we'll see what he wants to do for me. So Wild Bolt Storm's gonna fly through here. We're gonna block it. And you're going to soak that up, no problem, Entei. And now from here, he's just going to go for a knockoff and take off my life orb. And almost KO me. 
little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking we just Icicle Crash you. And we stick with the Stomp and Catch him, right? Yeah, they have no first turn priority, which is good. So we should be fine. I still think Icicle Crash can still do a huge chunk of damage. So I'm just gonna do that, right? Yeah, they don't have any first turn priority. They could swap into another genie, which wouldn't be a bad call. Reading that we're going into the stopping tantrum. And maybe I should have Sacred Fire and made that read, but we're just gonna hope it doesn't. And just look to get off some big time plays. We'll see. We'll see. They could. They definitely could, but I don't know. If they, I'm really hoping they're not. The stopping tantrum will still KO. Iso Crash can do some big time damage, and they are gonna do exactly what I just said. They're gonna swap to another genie. Smart call. No, they just go into Ogre Pond instead, which is. Another Pokemon that can soak up pretty well here. And Thunder's just gonna drop the tags. Dude, that's a great call. That's a great, great call. That's a great, great call. I said Crash gonna get blocked. Um, and Stop is just gonna go over in that slot. So, we don't have Life Orb, so we're not gonna take any damage here. I could E-Speed, I could pop a Secret Fire. Um, but I'm thinking our best bet might just be to swap you into like Raging Bolt this turn. And maybe just protect the Entei and save the Shen Pao for later. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We can swap you into that. And from here, you might just want to go into like, Sacred Fire. Yeah, I'll Sacred Fire the land or the Thunderous. If you go for Follow Me, you go for Follow Me. You might put on the mask, so we'll see how this one plays out here. We'll swap the Shen Pao. We will bring out the Rage Bolt, and they counter my Entei pretty well. Pretty well. Now comes the Rage Bolt, and they Witch off Thunderous as well. Are they going to go back into Incineroar? I would think so, right? Is that Incineroar? Yeah, wow. Swap back into Incineroar. And are you putting on the mask or not? Are you putting on the mask or not? They do not. They spike your shield up. Okay, so that's not a bad turn for us. I don't mind it. I don't mind it because Sacred Fire can fly through here, do a nice chunk of damage, and we could just E speed and take that out. And he's fast Pokemon, man. And he's fast. That's what's so good about him over Dragon. 152? This thing's cooking. He's cooking. So we can fake me out for damage. That is definitely a thing you can do. And you know what? I'm just going to Thunderbolt this slot. And I'm just going to protect just in case he wants to fake out for the KO because I can E speed that next turn and just finish that off. But he might just end up faking out my Raging Bolt. I wish I had a Protect on it. But yo, what a first match. Ranked battles always go crazy. They always, they're always so good. They're always so good. I don't protect my Entei. I have a feeling he's going to fake me out and try to pick up the KO, but he could also go after Raging Bolt. He doesn't know I'm bested, so I don't have Protect on my Raging Bolt. I don't protect the Entei. I'm going to say, yo, you are not KO me. Leave me alone. And he is going to try for the fake out KO. So he looks for the fake out KO, thinks my Raging Bolt might be protecting. And we should be able to get off a nice little... Oh, you go for follow me, that's totally fine. We'll be able to get off a nice little Thunderbolt here. Lovely little Thunderbolt. Coming in hot here. Love the damage. Love the damage. So both my Pokemon outspeed. Both my Pokemon outspeed. Um, I'm really hoping that this E-Speed can KO the Incineroar. And the Ogre Pond, right? Because I want to target down the Incineroar here with my E-Speed. It should be able to KO it, no problem. But I don't know if it KO the Ogre Pond. They might even be swapping the Incineroar. So I'm just going to click the E-Speed here. And yeah, they are going to swap the Incineroar. So Incineroar gets a swap. They might think of going for another Stomp and catch them. And they're going to go into Thunderous. So Thunderous comes out here. And Spiky Shield is going to come across here. So that's not bad for us. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. But I know Entei outspeeds that Thunderous, which is great. So damage, output, solid. Solid. Thunderbolt gonna get blocked. Okay, so I'm gonna look to pull off a Sacred Fire here. I'm gonna look to pull off a Sacred Fire. Um, we're gonna go for another Thunderbolt. Send it this way, and I'm just gonna look to Sacred Fire into this slot. So, our opponent's actually swapping a lot. We got him in a good position where we just have some, like, offensive firepower out here. That was a big-time damage. Sacred Fire getting a big-time damage off. And then Wobble Storm is going to finish me off. So, I do believe that Raging Bolt outspeeds that Ogre Pond. Right? Or am I wrong? I would hope so. It does not. And Woodhammer is going to fly through. So, we should be able to soak that up no problem. And Thunderbolt will pick up the KO. 
but I love Weber Sim. We have some fast Pokemon in the back end, and they got some work done. Staying on the field with 6 HP for a long time. Because they put us on 6 HP for a while. But at that point, we were just out speeding, putting them in position where we can just KO. But um, now they're probably going to go back into Incineroar. And do I intimidate them? That could be defiant on that. I'm just going to go into uh, Shen Pao here. I'm just going to go into Shen Pao uh, from here. They're probably going back into Incineroar, right? So they can intimidate me. I can always hard swap out. And we'll go from there. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Intimidate can come out here. I think I'm just going to Thunderclap the, uh, the Thunderous. And look to get rid of it. And I'm not going to protect the Shen Pao. I'm just going to straight up attack it with the Shen Pao. Just put a nice little Sacred Sword. Just in case he wants to fake out Raging Bolt, we can just get rid of Incineroar. Okay, so we're doubling down with attack. We're going to keep the pressure on him now instead of just protecting and allowing him to get like free turns. Right now we have the upper hand, so just attacking is a way to play. He ends up dropping an eerie impulse, and that kind of... That's kind of rough for me. That's kind of rough for me. And he doesn't go for the fake out, which is huge. Which is huge. Again, they thought I was maybe protecting, so this is why we wanted to just keep the pressure on here. Lovely. So now I have the fastest Pokemon on the field with Shen Pao. Raging Bolt's kind of iffy now that's biased too, so we might just want to hard swap that, get his stats back, and try to lock this match down. And then they go into the final Pokemon, which is going to be you. Okay. So I have Focus Ash, so as long as I just... Hard swap into you. I like that, especially if you're going for a ground move. And then go into... I still have Terra as well. I do still have Terra, which we'll save for a second. I don't think it's just Icicle crashing. They still have Terra as well. Um, I'm going to try to get rid of that Thunderous. Who might be protecting. I'm going to try to get rid of Thunderous. We're getting after it. This is such a good match, yo. I'd love the rank ladder. From playing casual for so long and then hopping into the rank ladder, it's just two totally different games. People are swapping in and out, taking their time with the plays. Everything is just great. Intimidate comes out here. He is not defiant, and we're really not doing anything. And they're going to terrestrialize. I believe it's going to be the Lando. Right? Just to get that ground weakness off it. And it is. So we're hoping Thunderous is not protecting. Because at this point, I could just start hitting that thing with a ground move. I'm truly scarred. I'm truly scarred. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Ice of Crash does outspeed. They're not protecting it. We get rid of the Thunderous, no problem. Which I probably shouldn't have went into an Ice of Crash because it has a little chance of missing, but... Hey, we Landos all day. We Landos all day. Sansier Storm comes out here, and that was a great swap for us. Now it doesn't affect my Landers. I'm sashed on my Shen Pao, so we're not dying. We actually lived on two. And now from here, pretty simple play for us to just go into Stomping Tantrum. And Sucker Punch? Yeah, Stomping Tantrum, Sucker Punch. All day. Battle gonna be canceled? It is canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're now sitting 4-0, and, oh, and we should be in Master Tier. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, four matches in, and we are sitting at 1,949 in the Master Tier. Awesome. Lovely. Real quick, four matches is all we need. We're 4-0, and we're hopping into our fifth match on the ladder. I love it. I love it. Dude, killing it in Regulation F. Killing it in Regulation F. But I only play this game on recording. I don't play off screen at all. At all. I, I, I don't. I really don't. I mean, I definitely could be a better player, and I could definitely try pushing high ranks if I wanted to. But I, I don't know. I just like recording this game for you guys. I just like having fun. All that good stuff. But like I said, we're 4 0. We're already in the Master Tier lighting it up, and we're hopping into our fifth match here with a half Sandstorm, half Sun team, half Trick Room team, right? Yeah, they got T-Tar, they got Trick Room if they want to pop it. I really don't have any way of countering Trick Room besides our first turn priority Pokemon. So Entei. And Shen Pao is a solid little lead for us here, right? Do we go into this lead? I kind of want to. I kind of want to. We also have Ogre Pond, who's going to be great. Um, we have you with the Choice Scarf. We also have another first turn priority Pokemon with Raging Bolt, which we might want to bring in here. But I just think Shen Pao Entei is going to be a really solid play for us. So that's going to be my lead. That is going to be my lead. They could lead Mimikyu. Um, they could lead... Amoongus, maybe Rage Powder here. But I think going into Ogre Pond and Rage Bolt is 
probably going to be our best bet, right? Yes, or do we go in with you? You're not bad, especially with Choice Scarf late game if they don't get the pull off Trick Room. But if they do pull off Trick Room, I, I want this Pokemon. Actually, no. You know what? We're not going Ouija Bolt. We have other Pokemon to deal with the Trick Room. I'm fine with Lando. Lando just has good typing advantages on a lot of these Pokemon and the ability to outspeed a Pokemon like Fluttermane. Can't go wrong with it, so I'm bringing it in here. But yo, 4 0, love, love it. Love getting the Seed Star, especially a brand new regulation. Getting to start off 4 0 for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys are, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed so you do not miss out on any of my ranked gameplay. But let's see who they got. Who they got leading here. Anybody but Amoongus, right? It's always Amoongus. So they got a fake out user. Um, they have no trick room user, though, which is good. They can't fake out my Entei, which is lovely. And they might just end up terrestrializing the what's it called? I'm just gonna double protect here. I'm just gonna double protect. They're probably gonna fake out and try to support. I'm just gonna double protect. Pretty simple play, right? No way they set up Swords Dance. They can't set up Trick Room. They're gonna fake out and try to support. I'm, I'm just double protecting. I'm not dealing with it. And we're gonna see if they terrestrialize, and they do. So they're gonna probably go Water Terror for Amoongus, which is okay, I guess, right? It's okay, yeah, it's Water Terror. That's okay. I mean, I can deal with it. I do have East Speed. I could maybe double down into that thing if it wants to go for Rage Powder. But they gotta be going for Fake Out Spore. Like, it's just, it's an absolute must. Fake Out Spore, absolute must. So yeah, there's the fake out, and then you're going for a nice, lovely little spore. And that's the reason I double protect it. Because you're probably spore and Entei, right? Come on, man. Alright, so... From here, this is where things get a little dicey. A little dicey. It might be where we want to ease speed and just start going after you. Yeah, I like that best. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to Sacred Sword into the side. I'm doubling down into Moogas. We don't want to be spored. We're really hoping it doesn't protect. Right? We're really hoping it doesn't protect and we can just get rid of it. Which all's iron here. So that's this could be a good turn. As long as he doesn't protect the uh the Moongus. So Titar now comes out here, which is a little odd. And again, fingers crossed, no protect on the Moongus would be great. And we're terrestrializing. The reason we're terrestrializing is we're just looking for big damage. We're trying to get rid of the Moongus and just take out any spore opportunity. And Titar, I'm not really too worried about, considering it can't thrasslize and one Sacred Sword should just be able to dump onto it. So they end up not protecting, which is massive. East Speed coming out here next to Shen Pao with the normal Terror type. Damage is absurd. Can Sacred Sword finish it off? I sure hope so. Come on, Shen Pao. No, you have a berry. You got a berry. So berry kind of screws up my whole plan because I don't think Sacred Sword is taken out now. Let's see. It doesn't, but it would have. You have a berry. Now you get off your spore that you want it. Oh, that's ugly. That's real ugly. That is real ugly. You get off that spore. Huh. Um... I could end up just protecting this Pokemon. I could ECB to take out Amoongus. Amoongus might just protect here. Which I think it does, honestly. In all honesty, I think it protects. In all honesty, I don't think it double spores. So I might just do this, and I might hard swap into an Intimidate user. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Wow, yo, Berry coming in to save the day? Hurts the soul. I think Amoongus protects here. I really do. Thinking that I'm going for East Speed and that. It might not, but you never know. But I'm just going to Intimidate Titar. Don't really want to deal with that thing's attack power. And Moongus is just going to get withdrawn, so that's fine. That's totally fine. And he's going to go back in Iron Hands, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad. I think he's going for a Rock Slide, or at least looking to go for a Rock Slide. We end up stopping to catch him into Titar and doing a ridiculous amount of damage with a crit. Beautiful. Beautiful. And Rock Slide does connect. So he's minus one. My Pokemon are able to soak rather well. And I think he's going to lose some that, uh, health to Life Orb. So now they're sitting here with a weird little option, right? They're now sitting here with a weird option. Um, I might protect and just hard swap out. 
Or I could just double stop and catch him here. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to double stop and catch him. I'm going to keep applying the pressure. And they just... They just canceled a battle. Oh my god, dude. I'm killing it this season. 5-0. and oh. We're moving up the ranks. 1,267. 5-0 oh in the master tier to get the season started. Let's stay hot. Very surprised that our opponent actually canceled that last match. Kind of odd. They definitely had a shot. They just kind of thought that we were taking that battle away but hey we take that all day but we're in our final match for today's video looking to go 6-0 and and push into the top 1000 that could be awesome that would absolutely be awesome but um they got Incineroar they got Suicune they're also rocking out with uh what is that Sinisha, Metagross, Ursaluna and Flutterman so they could pop Trick Room with Sinisha and kind of rock out with Ursaluna that's definitely an option they could pop Tailwind with Suicune Definitely an option they can go into Intimidate with Incineroar. Always a great option. But they also have Metagross. Now, Metagross, big time threat. Strong Pokemon, really, really bulky. But Entei and Choice Scarf, uh, Lando, could really be a big time problem for that. But what I want to do here is probably lead that same lead we've been doing. Shen Pao into Entei. Inner Focus is just so good. Or we can go into an Intimidate Pokemon on our own and just return out, right? That's actually really good because we can always U-turn into Shen Pao. So I can intimidate them if they want to intimidate us and then bring Shen Pao in the late game. So that's what I'm going to do. Bring them three. And now for our final Pokemon. Could be Raging Bolt. It could be Ogre. It could be Fundamate too. All very good options. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pot here just because it's going to be super effective onto a few. It could definitely soak up some shots. I like it. I like it. Well, Spring Mask Ogre Pond coming into the final match here. Look and go 6 0. I can't believe we're 5 0. We're, 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 we're about to be top 1000 if we win this match. Hopefully, if we win this match. And we can just get things going crazy here because starting off 5 0 is a big deal. It's a big time deal. And I love that tor Torchic, uh, Torchic little trainer card. Looking dope. So they're going to go into Incineroar and Sinisha here. So they're looking to pop Trick Room. They're definitely looking to pop Trick Room. And you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to U-turn into the Sinisha. I'm, oh, no. You're going to fake me out, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, you're probably going to Thrasalize and pop Trick Room. Okay. Yeah, you're going to Thrasalize and pop Trick Room. That's going to be the play all day. I'm going to try to U-turn. And I'm going to try to Sacred Fire. You're going to fake me out. I could maybe just hard swap. But I don't want to take off Sash. <laughs> Um, okay. We're definitely going to try to U-turn out here. And he's just going to fake us out. So yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, you're not... You're not Terrasalize. Sacred Fire is just going to KO. That works. That works so well. <laughs> that works a bit too well. And that's what I was hoping. I was just like, oh, you're going to fake me out. But if you don't Terrasalize... You're going to be dead to Sacred Fire. And that's exactly what they do. They don't trash us. So now Suicune comes in hot here. Um, we're going to U-turn out of here. And I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect you. Actually, I'm going to Terrasize and just stop and catch from you. And now I'm going to U-turn out of here. Into Suicune. Suicune could pop a Tailwind. We're going to try to get Shen Pao out here. Just so we can have our first turn priority, boys. Back to back. And they end up withdrawing Incineroar. Now they're going to go into their final Pokemon, and it's going to be Ursaluna, which I don't mind. He didn't get off Trick Room. I don't know why he didn't throw us. Unless Suicune learns Trick Room. But I don't really think it does, right? I don't really think it does. I could be wrong. I know Suicune a little bit. It's more of a Tailwind setter than a, than a Trick Room setter. Sinisha was their Trick Room setter. And we got rid of that. So now U-Turn pounces on this thing, doing a little bit of damage. Suicune's rather on the bulky side. We try to size and normal to dodge any water move and come. So from here, we're just gonna go straight into. Ooh. Do I go on the Shen Pao? Pair it with Entei, or do I just go into Ogre Pond? Because we have really good typing. I think we save our Ogre Pond. We're gonna go into Shen Pao right here. I just want this attack. I just want this nice, lovely damage output. Stop and catch flies, and that's solid. You don't have Trick Room, right? Okay, you don't. Nice beam flies through there. Beautiful. So that was actually a good swapping for us. A great swap. So we can get some leftovers. That Pokemon is bulky. And I think from here, 
We just double down in this thing, correct? We just looked to rip into this. Yeah, I'm double down to Ursula. Right after this thing. Right after this. The perfect swap would be... Oh, you protect. I was gonna say, the perfect swap would be going to Incineroar, but this Suicune's damage output isn't anything crazy. Right? It's not anything crazy. So, we're now sitting here where we double down into this Ursaluna, and it, it, it's seen, or our opponent's seen that we are attacking with with Sacred Fire and Icicle Crash. So they might swap into Incineroar here. So I think our best bet would still be to Sacred Fire this slot, but on top of that, switch Shen Pal's move to Sacred Sword. I'm not worried about Suicune. I really am not. I think they might swap into Incineroar or they might Terrasalize. And I'm kind of hoping they swap into Incineroar. Yeah, and that's exactly what they do. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, man. So Sacred Fire is going to do ant damage, but uh, Sacred Sword should do a decent chunk of damage, even minus one. A nice little call, call on our end. Nice, lovely call on our end. The attack's gonna drop, so you can just probably just drop an Ice Beam. Then you're just gonna rip the Skull, which we soak. Don't burn me. Don't do it. Ooh, no burn. Sacred Sword flying. Like I said, still a nice chunk of damage. Sacred Fire coming in hot here, and putting you on one. Come on now. Come on now. Um, Simple play for us. Probably just double protect, right? Yeah. Double protect, waste out another tailwind turn. I'm cool with that. And then we still have two Pokemon in the back end. Awesome. So we don't want to be faked out. We're gonna waste out tailwind turn and not be faked out here. Solid play for us. And we're double protecting just in case he's reading the protect on Shen Pal and attacking our end there. And no, you're just gonna fake out. Block. Get blocked. He's probably going for another skull, right? You skull to me? Yeah, you skull. So I think from here, we just e-speed you? I might want to hard swap you into Ogre Pond at this point, just so we get Shen Pao's stats back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Because chances are Scald's going to KO me with uh, Entei. I'm going to KO him with this e-speed. If he swaps into Ursula, Luna, which you might do, that, that'd be fine. I mean, we have Ogre Pond coming out on the field, which is just such a huge threat to all three of their Pokemon. That's why I wanted to bring it. I've seen this typing advantage. It's just crazy. You got grass and water moves for Ursula. You got water moves for Incineroar. And then your grass moves are going to be super effective on the Suicune. So great call for me. I'm going to end up swapping my Shen Pao. Bring in the Ogre. And I wish I still had Terra because I would love to Terrasalize her upon here. And it's just withdrawing Incineroar. So we're going to E speed this slot. And how much damage are we going to do? We get the normal Terra Boost. We don't have Shen Pao on the field anymore. And we're doing a nice chunk of damage. Another E-Speed will KO. But we, again, we're probably dying out to the Skull, right? And the Berries, man. A lot of Pokemon just holding Berries nowadays. A bit too many Pokemon holding Berries. So Skull comes out here. Um, my opponent's actually playing this one good, too. And I could bring out Shen Pao. I could bring out Shen Pao. I could definitely bring out Shen Pao. And I think I am going to bring out Shen Pao and just hard swap it right into, uh... I might hard swap it right into what's it called. No, we're not. We're, you know, we're just going to do this. I got an idea. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're just going to go into Shen Pao here. I was going to hard swap it straight into Lando, but let's just keep the offensive pressure here. Let's just keep it. They still have Terra, which is kind of annoying, but I think we just... Go into Ice Crash here, because it will KO Incineroar if he swaps it into the slot. And we just go Ivy Cudgel. Or not Ivy Cudgel. Oh, no, we don't have a Grass move. We don't have a... This Suicune's a problem. We don't have a Grass move. We don't have a Grass move. That's kind of rough. How many turns left in Tailwind? This is kind of rough. They don't have Tamwin anymore. They might go for Tamwin this turn. We're just going to go Sacred Sword in this slot. And I guess we'll just Ivy Cudgel this slot. We don't have a Grass move. Then they end up withdrawing Ursaluna. I'm going to finish off Incineroar here. And we don't have a Grass move. Oh, no. Again, our opponent's playing this one well. A bit too well. And they're going to put Terra onto Suicune. So that works out fine. 
They're gonna Terra Suicune. What Terra type you got? Show me something that I can rip up into. Okay, that's cool. I have U-turn on my, uh... I have U-turn on Icicle Crash. With Lando. So it actually works out fine. Because Secret Sword is gonna chuck up a little bit of damage here. I have a Cudgel and Cooking. And I wonder if they're setting up a tail. I'm curious. I'm curious to see if they're gonna set up a tail. Um... Yeah, they do set up a tail. Okay. Um... So Suicune's gonna be fast on the field, Shen Pao goes second. I think we just start attacking, right? I don't think there's a need for us to swap. But of course we don't have a grass move on Ogre Pine. I was really relying on that. <laughs> I was really relying on that. I just didn't really check it out too much. So out comes Ursaluna. Uh, Ursaluna does have the option to protect. I don't really see Suicune KO on me, so I'm just gonna stick with Ice of Crash in that slot. And I'm just gonna go Ivy Cudgel over in here. You protect, you protect, not that big of a deal. We still have our lovely Lando in the back end. And they do have a first, they could have a first turn priority move with the backing wave on the, on the Ursaluna. But Skull's just going to fly here, which I soak rather well. And if, bro, you get a burn with a Skull, give me a crit for that. Give me a crit. You get a burn? You get a burn? That's actually absurd burn. And Blood Moon comes out. You're outspeeding me. That's gonna KO me, isn't it? No, we soak up. Okay, that's actually big time that we soak up. Ivy Cudgel flying. And I think maybe our best bet would just be to follow me these shots. And maybe just swap Shen Pao, right? I do have Water Absorb. If you want to go for another Skull, that's totally fine. That's so absurd. <laughs> that's so absurd. You get a burn. You get a burn. But from here, we're going to go follow me. We're going to hope that you're going for a Scald again because I get to water absorb that. And we'll just keep attacking. So this is looking like we're going 6-0 in the Master Tier. Oh my god, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Last video, this video. This video actually had some great battles. Long drawn out battles. Opponents swapping in and out perfectly. Just love. I've been loving how we've been playing recently. Just so good. Just so good. Follow me comes out here. We're hoping the Scald's flying here. Probably is. And did we get some HP back? We do. Beautiful. That just wraps it up. Water Absorber coming out here. We still have a great backhand Pokemon. And my Okapon getting back up on the HP board. Icicle Crash flying. Still not doing any crazy damage, but still. Damage is damage. Damage is damage. So I think they canceled a match here. We are just going to do the exact same thing. And are they canceling the match? It's over. Like, you're not winning this match. I think our opponent thinks they have a shot at winning this match. When, when, when Chen Pao dies out, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to bring in Landers and just hit this thing with a U-turn. And it's just going to be game, set, match. He ends up going for an Ice Beam. That's fine. We soaked that all day. I still get off these Icicle Crashes. Beautiful. So Icicle Crash flies. And finally, it picks up the KO. 6-0, and ladies and gentlemen. Let's go check out our rank. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, top 1,000 in the world right now. 6-0 and to get Regulation F started, and love this team today. This team is absolutely amazing. We're going to give you guys one last look at the squad, but Entei Shen Pao just going to be so good on the rank ladder. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, these Pokemon pair up together, do some crazy damage, but this team as a whole, amazing. You got Ogre Pond, who did work in match number three. You got Fluttermane, who actually, I don't think we used today, but then we got out Raging Bolt and Landers, who were two great Pokemon for the Regulation F meta. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.